Right, I'll be getting roasted again. I love doing these kind of videos, I don't know why. I just quite like getting the piss taken out of me occasionally. People do it without me asking him to. When I ask him to, it's even better. So yeah, I just find it funny. So for these kind of videos, I always ask people to roast me on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, this is my Instagram. Go and follow me right now. But I get you all to leave me some roasts. I will react to it and try and take the piss a bit. So yeah, let's see what you've come up with. You're a piece of shit, period. I'm not even going to argue with you on this one. Yeah, fair enough. You look like you've never stepped outside and you've never seen the sun. I might have never stepped outside, but I've got a window. Just look through that, innit? It's as simple as that. You look like my nan's toilet bowl. I am your nan's toilet bowl. Your nan sat on my face. I can feel your eyebrow bones through the phone screen. I sure hope not. That'd be rather weird. I know they're big, you know. I've come to terms with that. But if you could just leave them alone and, like, not touch them, I'd appreciate that a lot. You need a good roasting, being as you're pale as fuck. I'm not even that pale. I'm quite dark, me. I take after me granddad. I'm very much white, but, yeah, I'm not pale. Fuck off. <laughs> you're a B-Tech, Will and E. I think even that's an insult to Will and E. I don't even think I'm a B-Tech. I'm more like a Set 8, Will and E. Welcome aboard. This flight with Andrew Airline will be taking off from Andrew's forehead. If you're having an holiday and you need to book your center flight, I've got you covered with this bad boy. It could fit loads of planes on it. It's fucking massive. I could carry my Aldi shopping in the bags under your eyes. Get some sleep, mate. Sleep's for pussy. And that's exactly why I want to get more of it. It's actually stupid. I was up at three o'clock this morning and I got up at six. Tell me where the fun in that is. There isn't any. I can tell you already. You don't need to tell me. I know myself, honestly. But it was great on Tuesday. I didn't have to go into school, so I got up at like 11 o'clock. I was planning on doing that tomorrow. Because I was like, oh, it's my last day of school ever. Turns out it's not. I didn't finish all my coursework. Got to go in tomorrow. Fun times. Your hair looks like a burnt chicken nugget. How many chicken nuggets have you seen like this? I don't know what they're doing to them, but Jesus Christ, they're not making them right, are they? I'd get you said a refund. Your eyebrows go from above your eye to your ears, for fuck's sake. Honestly, I'm aware of this. Every day I look at mirror and I'm just like, where are you off to? It's like they're trying to leave my face. It's just snaking down my cheek. Like, can you not? I just want no. Normal eyebrows. I'd love that. It'd be a dream come true, that would. You look like a massive flat mushroom. I just love how they put sorry in brackets. It's a good job because I would have been offended by that. that that's one that really cuts deep. Do you know what I mean? Forehead might need a meter stick soon. I don't know what you're on about. Like, do you mean to measure it or just as like an accessory? I'll just duct tape a meter stick to my forehead and just walk about just twatting people with it. I could do both, to be honest. That'd be quite fun. Where's the flight to your hairline on Hotel Trivago? Oh yeah, I forgot you don't have a hairline. I do. It's just very, very bad. Like, it's on the ropes. It's going further back, day by day. I'm gonna end up like me dad. Oh, that wouldn't be fun. You look like a sausage roll. I'm glad I'm not the only one who sees the resemblance. I thought it was just me. I have a joke. What did your eyebrows say to your hairline? We don't know. They can't hear. <laughs> Banter! All I'm saying is, I really hope that as your career path, you don't decide to be a comedian. Just for everyone else's sake, do you know what I mean? Mr. Potato Head, for God's sake. That's literally all he called me. If you don't know what I'm on about, basically, the other day, this bloke called Liam Grass, who we made a video on like quite a while ago, decided to take the piss out of me on a live stream. And the only thing he really said was, you look like Mr. Potato Head. I remember him now, I looked like a fucking, from fucking, what do you call it, Toy Story, that fucking, that potato head fan looks like him. Airspeed just some irrelevant cunt, yeah, looks like a fucking potato, mate. Airspeed's fucking sexy, what are you chatting? Is he fuck me, looks like a fucking potato, mate. He called me Phil Mitchell a few times as well, and an egg, but that were about it, dead. Um, yeah, literally just kept repeating Mr. Potato Head insults for about 25 minutes, non-stop. It's a good insult, not something that a five-year-old would have come up with. It's an intelligent insult, all right? You look like Phil Mitchell. Yep, great. Um... <laughs> This is literally the same person who put this as well. They're just going full Liam Gross on us. I really wish that he had come up with some like actual like good insults. At least make it hard for me to come back. But it was so easy. I need a challenge. Don't make it too easy for me. Then it's not as fun. I threw up everywhere once I saw your last video. No lie, I was cleaning it up for hours. I'm that bad to look at, am I? Oh dear. Your hair looked way better before you cut it. Are you telling me you preferred the mop? A lot of people have said that. People are like, oh, when's the mop coming back? Never. It's not happening. I'd rather the go bold to be honest i don't get why people like it oh like a mushroom like this is sick compared to the mop admittedly it's not the greatest but it's an improvement you're gay you're still gay 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 
Oh, we're gay apparently, boys. You're thick as pig shit. You didn't even know what condescending meant. Piss off. I don't use big words. I'm not a loser. You love to use big words, you, don't you? I bet you go to revision sessions, don't you? Your face looks like it's been set to widescreen. You know what? I'm not even gonna lie. You're not wrong. I've got a massive head. What could I say? It's not really proportional to my body, so it does make me look a bit weird. I'm just a square head, basically. Why do I think you've got a massive forehead? I don't know. Probably because I do. You said your hair was shit in the other YouTube videos, but have you seen it now? I have seen it now, and I think it's a chuffing improvement. Honestly. All these are about my hair or my eyebrows, aren't they? That's what it is. One day. One day it'll change. And we don't have constant insults about them things. Insult me about something else. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. You look 12. I can't even say I don't. I've got a mad baby face. And it doesn't help that I had a shave earlier. Now all the facial hair that was there. There was a lot of it. You could clearly see it. It's gone more smooth now. I'm like a baby's arse. I rate wanted facial hair, you know. That was like a week's worth of work, that was. I just gave up. It, it weren't happening fast enough. I got impatient. So I just thought, fuck it, it's coming off. Your hairline will become like Jojo Siwa's. I sure hope not. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Why would it be? She's got like a Mackie's hairline going on. Like, it's the perfect McDonald's logo. Not a good look. I'll get a transplant or something, innit? Splash out a few grand just to stop that from happening. I'll never be in a relationship again if I turn out like that. And I don't rate fancy being single for the rest of my life. It's a bit shit. Your eyebrows are as long as your legs. You're trying to start beef. I'll start it and I'll fucking finish it as well. Honestly, you don't want to mess with me, Tiger. I'm a unit, as you can clearly see. Huge. You've got like 17k subscribers and only get 200 to 600 likes. I know it's shit. Why ain't all 17,000 people? One watching my videos and two liking it. All 17,000 of you should be liking my videos. What you're doing? You're as skinny as a twig, honestly. All jokes aside, yeah? Skinny as fuck. It's not good. I can't put weight on. I don't know why. I've been trying for like two months. And I've lost it. How have I managed to do that? I'm only nine stone. I should be nine stone. It's not good. I don't know what I'm doing with me, said. It's not a good time. You only talk about Liam and make fun of him because you're scared to tell people that you love him. Killed it. Honestly, got it right on Ed there. I'm making fun of him to hide my true feelings for him. He's a very attractive boy. I want to start a family with him, adopt some kids, and we'll have a great life together. I want to be in a care home, in a nice little rocking chair next to Liam Gross. You should wear a condom on your head. If you're going to be a dick, you might as well dress up like one. This might just be the best one we've ever received. <laughs> that's unreal. I don't think that one can be beat. Like, I'm not even joking. That's some hard competition. Hard like the... No, okay, we're not making a hard joke. <laughs> Your arms are like matchsticks. You won't be taking the piss when I lamp you on using them. Got a right swing on me, I'm telling you. Your arsehole's as crusty as my nan's forehead and you've got a shit trim. How do you know how crusty my arsehole is? What have you been doing while I've been asleep? Your nose is like my toenail. You might want to get that checked. I don't think you're supposed to look like that. Need to book you an appointment at your local GP. The only reason you and Chloe broke up was because she found someone else that was worth her time more than you. You know when they say the truth hurts? Yep. Right there, right in me heart. Because that's literally exactly what happened. Not that she's told anyone. Why would she do that? I haven't said anything about it before, really. But now you know. Yeah. I was like, oh, no, no. I'll make sure that people are still going to like her. I don't want to say anything that will make people dislike her. But to be honest, I couldn't really give a shit anymore. Right. I'm going to end it there. I think that's enough roasts for one day. I'm still going to get roasted on my live later. I've got to, like, mentally prepare me send for that as well. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, or leave a comment because why not? Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video and you get notified every time I upload. Merch is linked in the description as well as my cameo, my Instagram and my Twitter so go and follow me on those. I'm going to start to do a thing where I give people shout outs in videos. All you need to do is leave a comment that makes me laugh and I'll read it out towards the end of the video. But I have got a shout out for today. You might have seen yesterday I went live with these two girls on my live stream. Two friends that I've made. I've made friends with people. I'm getting good, but basically, they're starting the YouTube channel, so you need to go and subscribe to it. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Leave a comment and tell me when you've subscribed. But yeah, any video suggestions you've got, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Also, I forgot to say, and this is quite a big thing, people have been telling me to do meet and greets for absolutely ages, and I think I might be finally able to do one. Summer in the city, we all know about it. It's like a massive YouTube event. It looks like I'm going. And then there's this thing called winter in the city as well. We're going to that as well, apparently. So yeah, you can come and say hi if you see me walking around. I don't know if we'll, like, stay somewhere and, like, have an actual meet and greet, like, I don't know how it's going to work, to be honest, but it's exciting stuff. It's in London, so if you ain't one of meters, you've got a trek on your hands, let's just say that. But yeah, I'll see you later.